the mset counseling dates have come however the website mset counseling website is not up yet a lot of parents have this question as to how should they be prepared for the counseling uh, so the first question is what are the certificates required so this short video will talk about the certificates required uh, this is based on what was asked last year and i don't think there should be any change this year so let's start off what are the certificates that are required first thing uh, all these certificates that are listed here you need original certificate plus two copies okay original plus two copies uh, what are these certificates one you can you can actually first take a screenshot of this you can take a screenshot uh, the first one is a tsm set rank card whatever uh, rank that you've got the rank card tsm set hall ticket then uh, Aadhaar card, SSC or its equivalent marks memo, it is uh, very simple, intermediate or its equivalent memo come, pass certificate, okay. Then sixth to intermediate or its equivalent study certificate, so that is important. So sixth to intermediate or its equivalent study certificates, you need to keep this with you. That is basically the bona fide certificate, so you got to have that with you. Then transfer certificate. Then uh, income certificate issued on or after 1st Jan, if you are claiming the reimbursement scheme, if it is applicable to you, then you should have the income certificate. Up to this, up to transfer certificate is compulsory for everybody. Beyond this, if it is applicable, you should have it. So income certificate, then EWS income certificate, those of you who come under the EWS category, if you are applying under the EWS category, that is economically weaker sections category, then obviously you need to have the EWS income certificate, then CAS certificate, those of you who want to claim reservation benefit, OBC, SC, ST, obviously you need to have the CAS certificate. And then residence certificate, now this is for people who have not gone to a formal school or college, that means they went to some open school or whatever. So, for those people, you require a residence certificate for the past seven years, for the past seven years, okay. So, that is what is required at this stage. This is not compulsory for all. This is for only those people who have not had a formal education in a school or college. So, up to this point, transfer certificate, compulsory for everybody. Beyond that, based on whether it is applicable to you or not, you need to have those certificates. That is the first thing. Then for non-local candidates, you need to have residence certificates or employer certificate of your parent. Now what these two things mean, it will be given in the website, there is a lot of uh, uh, text there, you need to go through the text carefully to determine what is required. So just go through the website as, as soon as it is made up and you will get clearly what is meant by residence certificate or employer certificate. Then for physically handicapped, children of armed forces, NCC, sports, minority, Anglo-Indian candidates, you need original plus three copies. The other certificates you required original plus two copies. Now you require original plus three copies. And what are they? Uh, physically handicapped certificate, if it is applicable to you, children of armed forces, personnel, given by a competent authority, um, if it is applicable to you, NCC, sports, minority, okay, basically your 10th class memo should contain it, uh, it should state that uh, you belong to a minority community and then Anglo-Indian certificate again issued by the competent authority. So, this are, these are the certificates that are required. So, without wasting further time, I would suggest that you get all of these things required because the window for this certificate checking is very, very limited and within that window, you will have to go and submit the cert and get the certificates verified. So do not waste time, keep all of those things. The checklist is available here. You cannot say that you do not know. Now you know what are the certificates that are required. So get them as soon as possible so that the MSET web counseling goes on smoothly. All the best.